It's Anne from the Useless Crafter. Okay, so I have, I'm guessing this is a rush request. It is a graduation uh, project. So I'm gonna knock this one out really quickly. So it's a sign and I think it's probably a photo prop, but you could probably use it for cake topper, cupcake topper. One is a 2020 sign and then the other one is congrats grad. So let's do the 2020 first. So go to text and it's the varsity font. So it's this top one. Um, that's the one that I use. If you don't have this one, if you don't have access, then I would go to Dafont, D-A-F-O-N-T dot com and download a varsity, a similar varsity font. But OK, so let's do 2020 first. So here's our 2020. And if you look over, well, first, when you look at this, it just looks like it's a blue outline with a hollow middle, right? Um, but there's actually two layers. So if you look in your panel over here, your right hand side panel, um, there is a layer that is not visible right now. So you can see that with the eye and it's crossed out. So just click on the eye and we are now making it visible. So this is pretty cool. So now you have a back layer and a top layer. So with any kind of cake topper, cupcake topper, photo sign, you need one layer that is all attached together because that one layer then is gonna stick to your, be glued to your stick so that you can hold it up, okay? Um, so let's make this back layer all together. You have two ways you can do it. You can either uh, decrease the line space or letter space so you can see the numbers are getting closer and closer. This sometimes doesn't work um, because some letters have a bigger gap or numbers have a bigger gap than others. So what I would do is I would ungroup it and let's make this bigger so we can see it. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll over and I'm gonna physically move this zero to touch the two and then move the two over and then move the zero over. Once they're touching, and it's almost touching. <laughs> um, grab the 2020, all four, and let's weld it. Because right now it's four individual numbers bunched up against each other, right? But when we weld it, it is all connected. So this is, I love this. So this will be connected. Uh, this will um, cut out individually. So let's ungroup it. And then you're going to either glue or tape this on top. And then, like I said, the stick will be glued to the back of the 20, the green 2020. Um, of course, change these colors to whatever you need it to be. Um, I, I love this font for anything school, like athletic related um, for jerseys and stuff like that. OK, so this is one way of doing it. OK, let's say you don't like this font. So let's go and change the text um, and I'm going to change it to something uh that i know i have so this is one of my fonts that i uploaded so let's do 2020. so this is a fancier one right there's no good way to do an offset in design space um you need to go to inkscape or some other program the only way you can do it is what i just showed you with the varsity font because it came with the two layers the other way to do it and this is like so backwards, <laughs> but it's a workaround and it, you know, it works. What you want to do is get your shape, get a circle. Okay. And um, you need to unlock it because we want to make it more of an oval shape or whatever shape you want to. When you see when I'm done, you decide how you want to do this. But here's the one. I'm going to duplicate it and duplicate that. And one more. Then what I want to do is I want to grab all four of these and line them up. So I'm this one is already highlighted in the panel. If you hit your shift key, you can select this one, this one, and this one. So all four are selected. Go to align and center vertically. So now they're all even. Okay. And then weld. And it's going to become one piece. So I'm going to send this arrange send to the back and then make it a different color so we can kind of see it better. So now you have sort of that offset, but it's not an exact offset, but it works when you're in a crunch. If, you, if you're very specific about a font, you can still change the way this looks. You can unlock it and make it, you know, 
more slender or fatter or whatever it is that you want to make it work. So that's the other way of doing it, okay? And this will work if like, if you wanted to do like a scripty font or something, then that would work for this. Okay, almost done. Let's do congrats grad. So let's go to text. We wanna go back to varsity font. Oops, just varsity. There we go. I'm gonna click on that. And let's do congrats grad. Okay, and I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. So your first step, we wanna make sure that the second layer is visible. So go ahead and click on the eye over here. So now we have our two layers, right? And we wanna ungroup. And let's move this blue layer out of the way. And let's work on our green layer. So on our green layer, what you need to do is, if you remember, we need to make this touch, right? So we want the congrats to touch as well as the grad. And what I was talking about earlier is, look at the space in between the A and the T and even down here. That is a bigger space than between the R and the A. And that's why when you're decreasing the letter space, it works up to a certain point, but there's going to be a point when the R and the A are touching, but the A and the T still have a gap because they're not evenly spaced out. So while you can do this, I usually end up just ungrouping it and moving it over myself. So let's just make all of these kind of, oops, almost look like my computer was, my mouse was going too fast for my computer. Um, okay. And... I'm hurrying through this because I, you know, I want to show you how to do it. Um, you can definitely take your time and make sure that it's just touching enough, um, but you get the gist of it. So I'm just moving this over. And this one, as long as one part of the letter is touching the previous one, you're fine. You don't need everything to touch up. Okay. And then let's get this one over. And grab all of it and I'm just gonna weld it. All right, so now we have our one piece, right? So let's do the same with grad. Grab that A, okay, and grab the D, move it over a little bit, okay. Grab these four and weld. So now it's one fluid piece, right? So these two though, if this is gonna to be together, the top and bottom need to be touching so that you can glue it together. It'll be one piece that's glued to the stick. So I wanna make sure that this is centered. So grab the two items, arrange, or I'm sorry, align, and um, let's do center for horizontally. Okay, so that's where the grad needs to be. Now we need to make sure that this is touching though. So I would do something like that, maybe a little bit lower. Okay. And then grab these two and weld. And now you'll see you have one piece and then this you're going to um, ungroup and then it'll cut out and then you'll piece this individually. So I hope that was helpful. Um, please leave a message, a uh, comment, however I can help you on your next project, uh, or if you have any further questions on here. I do have a different video though that shows you how to do an offset in Inkscape, so you can always do that as well. All right, bye guys, have a great weekend.